Hello, I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. Today we come together to celebrate Unity Day. It gives us in the military department a special opportunity to recognize the many diverse backgrounds and cultures that make us uniquely American. The strength of our nation is built on our cultural differences. We must strive to understand our diverse backgrounds, to gain insight, appreciation, and respect for one another. Sharing what makes each individual unique brings us closer together as people and builds a stronger organization. Unity Day is an opportunity for the Maryland Military Department to do just that. We may have many differences in our backgrounds, but we have one thing in common. We serve one great nation. Let's work together and celebrate what each culture has to offer and observe Unity Day every day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Chaplain Lee, the Joint Force Headquarters Chaplain for the Maryland National Guard. And I'll share with you a little bit about my heritage as we celebrate Unity Day. Beginning with Rolf the Viking, who later was the grandfather of William the Conqueror. And I'm actually a descendant of William the Conqueror, who brought the Catholic faith and the Normans to England. And from him was descended Sir Thomas Lee, and from that came eight sons, one William Lee who came to Jamestown in 1635 on the Assurance de Lowe. Since then, my family's lived in the United States for many years, and today, of all things, I find myself as a Protestant chaplain in the Maryland Army National Guard supporting folks from all different faiths. It's one of the things I love about our country is we each have a history and a heritage, but when you weave it together with the tapestry of everyone else, we become a strong fabric and a beautiful group of people. And I'm glad to be part of this great American experience together with you. Hola, me llamo Sergeant First Class Gaiman Wilkins y se estoy con Joy Forces Headquarters y yo voy a hablar de Panamá. Many believe that Christopher Columbus and Vasco Núñez de Babor had discovered Panama, when in fact, Rodrigo de Batista was the one that discovered Panama. He was sailing westward from Venezuela in 1501 in search of gold, was the first European to explore the Isthmus of Panama. A year later, Christopher Columbus visited the Isthmus and established a short-lived settlement in the Durian. Vasco Núñez de Balboa toured his track from the Atlantic to the Pacific in 1513, demonstrated that the Isthmus was, indeed, the path between the seas and Panama, quickly became the crossroads and marketplace of Spain's empire in the New World. Gold and silver were brought by ship from South America, hauled across the Isthmus, and loaded abroad ships for Spain. The route became known as the Camino Rio or Royal Road, although it was more commonly known as Camino de Cruces, Road of the Crosses, because of the abundance of gravesites along the way. And there you have a brief